Yo, what's up YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So, Road to Masters Part 2. I haven't really been pushing too much this season. Um, but today I'm like, alright, like, the games aren't even fun. Like, I'm kind of in like these random lobbies and stuff. So, I wanted to get back up higher and I almost got to L2. You can see my bar. I was like, literally like one game off. Then I lost a few. We'll go over some of the losses as well today. Um, but yeah, I had some pretty good games. A lot of them aren't going to be in the log, but I, I definitely have some good ones to show you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys. So first off, we do have a Macy game. Um, now Macy is like quickly becoming one of my favorite brawlers. I liked it a lot before, um, but it was just like too hard, not like too hard to use, but it didn't make sense to pick it because other brawlers were easier. So I love like the dash on it because you can just make plays like that. Um, so you can see like I kind of caught him off guard and I get the kill and we make a play. My Sandy did a really good job pushing up at the same time. But I like brawlers that have a lot of mobility like Stu I'm becoming really a fan of as well. Uh, they're just like a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah our draft is pretty weird. Alex went Gus after I went Macy. Um, I don't know why. But after he said that he thought like Macy was lane, Macy's not a lane though on this map, it's definitely mid if you're picking it. Um, and yeah, you can see he's doing a good job though, besides the little draft issue. But their draft is definitely like much better than ours. Um, everyone on my team is playing really good though, so pretty happy with how everyone played this one through. Um, and yeah, you can see, I'll just use my super to finish him off. And you can actually do the little dribble like you do with Max with Macy, if you guys didn't know, just like that. And uh, it's about the same distance, so you can catch the ball. It's easy if you do it off the wall like I did that there, though. All right, guys, next up, we are going to be doing a Dynamite game. So I used to play a lot of Dynamite. I haven't been playing it as much lately, but I've been playing in Power League. I, I like the skin. Honestly, since the skin came out, I've been playing a lot more Dynamite. So I think their comp is definitely a lot better. But uh, we can definitely win. Uh, I need to get kills though, and I need to get damage. And the Primo is pretty hard to deal with. So I get a really nice double stun there, and uh, yeah, luckily it's on their Primo as well. And you can see I'm doing good shots on Bay 2 there as well. So this is a pretty good lobby. Everyone in here is like pretty good at the game, so good quality gameplay. But we're off to a really good start. And uh, here is like where we do like a big mistake, kind of, I think. So Beitu kind of catches me out. It's his server. You guys can tell. I have like 75 ping to the server. Beitu has low ping. Um, but, you know, we have a good lead, but they're like kind of getting treated up. And uh, yeah, so we got to make sure. Beitu baits me, bro. I think he's going through. I have my stun ready and he hits a wall. It was an accident, but it worked out. Uh, and Chepo's gonna go in, but he's gonna die, and then there's just a treated up Primo on our safe. But I'm getting good damage up here as well, but we can't leave the Primo. Chepo just decides, no, like, I don't want to deal with that, and then, you know, I get backed up, the Stu spawns in, um, and the Carl cannot kill it. So we just left, like, a treated up Primo on our safe for whatever reason, doing, like, literally, like, 50% of our safe. Um, so I think that was probably like the main issue with this game <laughs> because before that like and Bull could probably deal with that like Even if you're like just there annoying him like as long as you're not like just letting him free hit the safe like that I think it's way better than because I think he kind of just went up into zero percent on the other end anyways so I have my son on here and Yeah, obviously you don't want to walk around like it But sometimes you click it by accident and you know, I'm just kind of holding on to it So I think I try killing the primo here yeah, so I get the Primo, but unfortunately he does jump. Uh, otherwise, I think I kill him, but I do still manage to get the kill. Uh, Chepo's going to go in, but, you know, he can't really do anything. They're treated up, and uh, I think I get a good kill on Beitu here as well. Fortunately, I couldn't get my super up, and the Carl is going to try. Um, and, you know, he's getting close, but uh, just we left the Primo on the safe a little too long, I think. So I don't leave treated up pre ones on the safe guys. All right, now this game was pretty crazy. I did end up, uh, I don't wanna spoil it, but uh, yeah, I love Mandy. You guys, if you watch my video, you can probably tell, like I play a lot of Mandy. Uh, I think it's really good in Power League for carrying, 
on knockout and bounty Pr primarily like knockout shooting though i play mandy a lot as well um so our comp they have comp here like this is like 90 10 outdraft by them to be honest like the brock pick was really bad and the mr p pick probably not the best into like grom and uh rt um so yeah i kind of if i think a game's like over i'll just go mandy and see if i can carry it honestly <laughs> So I'll get a good stun, and unfortunately I get hit by both the Grom shots, or slow, sorry. But uh, I will trade, and yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't really... My Brock breaks our grass, which is really dumb, because uh, now I can't just stand in there and snipe. So I think you just go down if you're the Brock there, like, you're not in a good position. I'm just going to take the L, but we do get penguins for the next round, and uh, yeah, you know, it could be worse. Um... But I'm gonna see he's mad. Like, I don't know. This is what I was saying, like, at the start of the video. Like, I wanna get out of this, like, elo range. Um, just so I don't have to play with players like that. Because uh, I think they have, like, really big egos and they're not very good at the game, to be honest. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you'll see he just dies there. And uh, I think I can kill the Grom here. But I just miss and I will hit the RT. Luckily, I do get the Grom, and it's a 1v1. Um, so this, I know Mandy's damage really well, and I know I'm about to get my super. And I know Buster's damage pretty well, so I was pretty confident I could win it. I didn't know I'd be 16 HP, but I know the interactions. Um, and I'm just shooting him because he's been shooting me all game, and he's like not doing anything. So yeah, like I said, they have big egos for no reason. <laughs> but uh, And they always pick Brock. I don't know why, but they always pick Brock. I think I like just kind of tap the buster really hard here or something like that but <clears throat> you know i'm definitely like feeling myself after that round and i get the buster really low um and i think i see like the grom is like a little low or the rt yeah so i think i look at the rt here actually so with mandy i like just kind of because buster blocks it as well i'll hit the grom and oh i didn't see that he's 22 hp but we're applying a lot of pressure. I'm hitting a ton of shots on the Buster. I'm actually like not missing on him right now. And I'll get the RT on the other side. And yeah, my Mr. P did really good there pinching as well. But I did end up losing that game in the next one. I was playing really good and then I messed up one super. And that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> Momo, come here. Come here, BB. Oh, you're so cute. All right, guys. So this is a pick that I've shown you guys before. But Brock here is so disgusting. I didn't even last pick it. I think they last picked like macy or something which you know you need to pick something for the brock here um but you can just see like nobody can go on my lane and they make poor safari on the dog try laning me like brock counters the dog pretty hard um and my team's doing good as well over there they're both picking up some kills and it's just like really total domination from us right now the last game was pretty close but uh yeah, you know, everyone, they won't even come on my lane, kind of, at this point, because of the last game. So, I'm going to get a really nice gadget in between the dog bags. And, uh, yeah, you don't need to, like, really rush anything. Um, you just kind of sit back and hit shots. And uh, we're all hitting our shots, so that's all that matters with comps like these. If you have two sharpshooters, uh, I strongly recommend you guys get some HP as well. So, the Carl pick, like, even if it's not, like, doing the most, he's doing good right now. Um, it'll just like absorb like a lot of pressure while you guys can sit back and hit shots So HP is really important right now in the meta and I'm gonna get a nice super there as well But just make sure like you guys always have HP as a general rule of thumb and Yeah, they cannot do anything to me I actually think this is Brock's best map in the game into the right comp like by far It is like the most oppressive brawler uh, You can't pick it every time or like early or anything like that, but like into like something like this, like a passive kind of stalemate game, like it is so good. Like they just kind of give up at this point. So we'll just like skip through this part. But yeah, I'm going to go far in the KD, get one more kill. But yeah, definitely don't sleep on the Brock on that map. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, I'm playing Gene. You probably don't see this very often, but uh, I've been playing like a lot of Brawlers that I wouldn't really play. Uh, just in Power League. I always enjoyed a lot of brawlers, but you know, I would always try picking like brawlers out of playing comp. Um, but I've just been kind of playing like everything now, and uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it. So, 
Yeah, not really the best start. I think I missed my knockback. My ping is not the best, to be honest. Like, I just like moved and my internet is pretty bad here. So I'm figuring that out. But uh, not really a good start. But uh, I do have Tyrant Star, who is very good at the game. Uh, so he kind of bails us out at a certain point. And my spike's actually doing really well on the other side. So uh, yeah, I'm getting close to my pull here. And I want to help Tyrant because I feel kind of bad. So like... It kind of sucks for Tyrant, too. Like, I do want to help him, but uh, at the same time, like, I can't just baby his lane at this point. I need to focus on the gems. But uh, I will catch Chepo out and get a good pull, and Tyrant can get some position back. And uh, he's going to get the Tara on his lane, which is a much better matchup for him. Uh, Sprout into Spike's obviously not the best for the Spike. But, uh, yeah, you know, like, they last pick Sprout. What are you going to do? So it's got to deal with him. I'll pull him if I ever can, but uh, besides that, like... <coughs> Excuse me. Someone has to deal with him. <clears throat> so I'm just going to be pinching the sprout, seeing if we can take him out, but it is a sprout, so he's behind a wall. It's a little hard sometimes. And uh, yeah, I do have my pull, so I think I go for sword. Like, that was kind of close, low key. I'm still kind of getting used to the max range on the gene, but uh, you know, I don't I don't mind like missing some pulls if I, like, I'm going for stuff, you know? So. Here, I'm going to back off. I definitely could have got a gem, uh, but I knew the next one's going to be on our side, and even if I don't get it, like, I'd much rather, like, just not grab that gem and just, like, not, like, throw the game. Tyrant's going to go kind of crazy there, and he's getting slimy on sword as well. So, yeah, Tyrant's are very good at the game, guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to get their gems down. They could reset, but we have 11 now, so we're good. And, uh, yeah, pretty straightforward gene game. I hit, like, one pull... And then I'm just going to pull a sword at the end for fun. Uh, yeah, we love a sword. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this game as well. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I'll uh, be streaming a lot more Power League tomorrow, probably. And I want to start going for like number one again. Uh, obviously, I'm like pretty far behind the rest of the guys. But I was almost like L2 and like... I don't know, like, I know I can get it, like, like I said, like, at the start of the day, I was, like, probably, like, three, four hundredth in the world or something like that, now I'm, like, 40th, so I think as long as I try, my internet doesn't act up too much, like, I can definitely, like, be there up at the top, so I'm gonna see if I can get Masters sooner than later, and, uh, yeah, I like just, uh, being able to, like, post, like, competitive games for you guys, hope you guys enjoy the content as well, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, Momo says bye, he's been very needy this whole video so yeah guys see you soon peace